Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So here is my episode 7 trailer breakdown. Uh, this episode looks like it's going to really ramp things up here. I mean, if you think about episode 6, it, I'm not going to spoil anything yet. It kind of like wrapped everything up now. And now like everything's going to be cranked up to 11 because there's a lot of things that they now have to deal with, right? Like we're going to actually really get into the Reaper arc now. Uh, I mean, things are starting to get really insane. Daryl's in a really, really scary place, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'll say that, and I, I really don't know if we can trust Pope. I mean, obviously, we can't trust Pope, but, I, you know, Daryl, I'm, I'm really, obviously, he's going to be fine, but he's definitely in a very scary situation, but things are starting to ramp up right now, because this entire Reaper arc is going to come to a close in Episode 8, and Episode 8 is going to be a big one, and, and so 7, I, I really can't wait for. There's a lot of stuff here with Maggie and Negan. And uh, there's some stuff, obviously, with, with Eugene and the Commonwealth, some stuff with y Yumiko. Uh, there's Daryl and Leah and everything. And then, obviously, there's a lot here with Gabriel. And, and, like, I really can't wait. I really can't wait for this. So, obviously, before we go any further, I do have to warn you uh, for spoilers for Episode 6. And so, if you haven't watched it yet, this is your spoiler warning. And, obviously, if you're new to the channel and you do want more Walking Dead content like this, then make sure to be a subscriber because there's going to be so much stuff to talk about over the next few weeks. I mean, there is going to be a lot to talk about in terms of the Walking Dead universe content. We have Episode 7 airing next Sunday, Episode 8 airing the, the week after, but also around the same time, we're going to have World Beyond. And World Beyond, if you remember, Jadis is going to be returning, and that's our big connection to the Rick movie. We're going to get all of those Easter eggs and an explanation on like where Rick is potentially, or at least we're going to learn some setup there. At least we're going to learn like what happened to Jadis. Gimple has teased that we are going to learn some info on, on what happened to Jadis during that that fateful helicopter ride and so through that we are also going to learn stuff about rick like where they dropped him off and and, and so forth right so there's going to be some stuff there but we also have fear the walking dead on top of that after season six's amazing ending right fear the walking dead just completely blew us away so there's a lot of walking dead content stretching all the way from like really like almost three months from now right like it's gonna be i think the last episode of world beyond is airing december 5th so like it's good like we're gonna be talking about this week to week for a very long time still so that's why i say if you do want all my walking dead videos reviews trailer breakdowns and everything then make sure to be a subscriber also i do want to acknowledge the fact that yeah a lot of people aren't getting the episodes sometimes like i was watching the episode and it cut out for me um, I, I'm not entirely sure what the issue is, to be honest. I mean, sometimes these things just happen, but it, it, it does, I don't know, honestly, it does kind of suck. Like a lot of us wait to watch it, you know, like at a certain point in the middle of the night, like, you know, if it's 3 a, or three a.m. Eastern or 12 a.m. Pacific and for it to not load up for a lot of people really sucks because a lot of people, like for me, I was able to watch it earlier last or, or last weekend. On, a, on my computer, but on my TV, it didn't load up until Tuesday, two days later. So that I think that could be an issue. But I mean, yeah, as of now, it's a little it's a little annoying. And I understand for some people are frustrated by it. But like, I, I, I don't know. It sucks. Hopefully they can fix that very soon. It, it really does suck. But anyways, let's talk about the trailer here. So obviously, I mean, it, it, we got the big hint here, right? Like that the Whisperer Horde is going to be playing a big role. We have this shot here of I don't know who this is. This kind of looks like Maggie to me, doesn't it? Who who else could this be, right? Like to me, this it looks like Lauren Cohen's eyes. Like it's at least uh she's wearing a different outfit, so it's hard to tell. She probably put something else on here. But like, yeah, I'm assuming that that this has to be Maggie here. I mean, at some point in the episode, we do see her actually put on put on a mask, and it's a it's a very similar looking mask. Actually, it's a, it's the exact same mask. Now that I'm looking at it because you have that line on top there. Uh, there's this shot of her when she has it on her, and you can see there's that little cut in the mask on, on the forehead there. And if you go to this shot here, it's the same thing. So yeah, this is Maggie. She just put, I guess, a walker outfit on, which this actually makes a lot more sense. It's not just the whole mask thing. You got to put everything else on, right? Like, yeah, you, you got to have that stench or whatever. So yeah, I'm, I'm super, super happy with that. Uh, I really can't wait because obviously Maggie, Negan... Elijah and all of them, they're going to be bringing this Walker Horde to Meridian. And this is how they're going to attack Meridian. This is how they're going to attack Pope. And it's kind of interesting to see how this whole thing is going to play out because we actually have a shot here of Maggie and Negan uh, talking here, just about normal stuff. And I don't know if, if Maggie's willing to just like forgive Negan, but they have this conversation where Maggie's like, oh, uh, if so, if you're willing to try this all over again or, or start from the beginning, you would do it differently. 
And then I think Negan says like, yeah, or something like that. But he looks so sincere. I mean, at this point, they just both look very tired from this journey. It's taken a lot out of them. And I mean, yeah, at this point, they're just really ready to move on now from all of this. And they want to they just really want to get back home. And Maggie, I do wonder if she's going to start to forgive Negan like soon or at least start to think about it a little bit more. Just because in this shot, it seems like it. But we'll have to wait and see, right? Negan is helping her out quite a bit. But uh, yeah, I can't wait for him to introduce the the whole thing here. Uh, but I think what's actually really cool here is that we do see the horde actually going out. And like, so like this is probably towards the end of the episode, or at least, yeah, I'd say in the second half of the episode, like they, like, you know, for a fact, they are going towards Meridian. And in that episode, Pope is likely gonna, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm super excited for it. It is interesting because you do wonder if Pope knows certain things about Daryl, so, like, there's certain things that I'm kind of questioning here, but, like, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a big surprise when he finds the, <laughs> the the horde there, so I really can't wait to see how all that's gonna play out. I mean, the Reaper stuff and the Maggie stuff is going to actually come to a head in Episode 7, but the 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 result, uh, the conclusion to it, obviously, is gonna happen in Episode 8, but, yeah, I mean, I'm super excited for that. Uh, we have some uh, Commonwealth stuff here as well, there's a lot of shots of Yumiko. I mean, yeah, she's like dressed up all fancy. This is different. This is crazy. Like what? You can get dressed up like this. You can put makeup on. She has earrings in. Like this is insane, right? She has her hair up and stuff like that. A nice outfit. So she definitely is getting prepared to do uh, or prepared for an interview. So like that's I mean, this obviously is the lawyer position. Most likely it has to be. Um, and we'll see how it works. We have this one shot here of her and Tommy which is kind of cool. I guess they're just, this looks like they're actually in a courtroom. So yeah, she has to be interviewing to be a lawyer. She has to be, or this is either in a courtroom. If it's not that, then it's in a church or something, but it looks like it could be in a courtroom. We have Ezekiel out there. Uh, I mean, they're trying to pay their fines, right? According to the synopsis uh, for using Commonwealth equipment, which was the radio in episode five, they are now forced to to pay their fines by, I'm guessing, cleaning up this whole area here by taking the walkers out, killing them, or or what have you. Ezekiel's having a hard time doing it because he's obviously really sick. Yeah, we see them doing it. We see Eugene in the shot as well. And so, yeah, I mean, honestly, I think a lot of this is is pretty self-explanatory for the most part. There is actually a shot of Gabriel spying on this priest. So it's not Pope, I guess, that he's, like, having this conversation with. He's having a conversation with this other guy. And, like, that's kind of the whole thing with Gabriel right now, right? It's like he's losing his his faith. And so does he lose his faith in this episode? Uh, I mean, or anytime soon, you know, that's kind of the whole debate with the character right now is he's kind of losing it and doing very drastic things right now. And and so it is it, it's just it's hard. So I, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen with the character next, but it seems like he could die. Right. Like it's kind of he's going in that area. So it's. It's a little scary right now. We'll see what happens here. He could die in this episode, right? That would be pretty crazy. I hope not. Who knows at this point, right? Like, anything is really possible. But, yeah, you know, like, Lance Hornsby is in the episode quite a bit. This episode, honestly, we could see Pamela Milton in it, too. Like, that. I mean, probably not, but, like, maybe Sebastian Milton or something like that. Like, that is also really possible. It just looked great to me, honestly. The trailer just looked really great. I, I really can't wait to see what's going to happen next, especially with Leah and uh and pope and everything and just where and mostly it's the it's the whisperer horde or not whisperer but the walker horde here to actually have maggie doing this is crazy right like it's kind of cool because in a sense we have maggie a part of the whisperer arc and uh, i mean we never had her a part of that arc right so it's kind of cool to see her wearing this acting like a zombie negan is here as well this whole thing is just cool. It's cool to use this tactic, but uh, yeah, anyways. So yeah, overall, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the the, the trailer breakdown there. I mean, episode seven honestly looks like it's going to be another really good one. I, I I can't wait. It feels like we are starting to switch a little bit here. I mean, there's still some Reaper stuff we got to deal with, but it kind of feels like we are starting to switch into the Commonwealth arc a lot and just kind of go there like mainstream. Because I've been seeing a lot of people complain about that you know like they want the commonwealth just like full-on commonwealth stuff and they've been kind of annoyed of the reaper stuff i've really enjoyed the reaper stuff like to be honest i've actually really enjoyed it i'm glad that it's like original material it's it's not something that's from the comic because in the comic you know like what they would be doing right now would be really nothing just moping around alexandria it would be even more boring right 
that like that was the thing in the comic at this point it really suffered a lot and people just found the walking dead pretty boring and then it ended and then it ended really well but the commonwealth arc was definitely very underwhelming but with what they're doing now and how condensed they're going to make the story in in the the final arc there and what you what you can do there with original material as well like with the commonwealth arc i think it's going to be really good you have a bunch of rick stuff there the characters are also so different so you know i think that i think there's a lot that we have to have to look forward to and i'm honestly very very excited for for the the second part i can't wait to watch the episode 9 trailer just to get the 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 vibe and the tone of the second part cuz this first part has felt very dark and gloomy, but it seems like it's starting to shift a little bit, if you noticed. It's starting to shift a little bit into that Commonwealth feel. And the Commonwealth is like this little town. It's like this beautiful town with, you know, that 80s feel to it. It has a very, like, not even 80s, a very, like, like old school, like really, really old school, 1930s feel to it, 1950s feel almost. You know, it feels like this really cute town sort of thing. And like, I, I yeah, I mean, I, I didn't think the Commonwealth was like this. I never got that vibe from the comic, but it works on the show. It really does. And so now our characters just have to go there. But first, we got to deal with Pope and uh, that whole situation there. So obviously, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really like I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't followed me on Discord yet, the link is down below. We're going to be talking about the episode seven trailer. And episode six all day long tomorrow, and also episode five if you if you're if you are a cable viewer. So yeah, a lot to talk about over the next day. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.